week, our heroes this week are the fraternity brothers of Land Neck High Alpha. Oh! That's right, we're doing a frat house. You know Bobby Burke is the host of the reality makeover series Queer Eye on Netflix, but he also has his own design firm, which has quickly become a leader in the home building industry. And he just released his first book, Right at Home, How Good Design is Good for the Mind. In the book, he explains his philosophy that good designs can boost your mental health and offer tips for every room. And Bobby joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? Good. Good to have Doing you with great. us. It seems like every year there's a new trend color. Uh, how does that play into my mental health <laughs> when the trend changes next year? Well, that, that's the thing. I, I talk a lot in my book about actually you should ignore trends. Every time I'm asked what my favorite trend is, um, I always say my least favorite thing is trends because you should be designing your house for you and your mental health and what works for you and not what myself or any other designer or magazine is telling you to do. What if I, you know, what if I don't have good taste? I don't think my, I, I mean, I don't know what to do when I see an empty room. You have a vision. What's like a basic tip? You see an empty room, where do you start? Well, you know, in this book, I talk about how everybody can be a designer. You don't have to go out and spend a ton of money to make your house work for you. And it starts with figuring out what makes you happy. Oh. And that really doesn't have anything to do with design. It's thinking about what your favorite show or movie is, what your dream vacation is, what's your favorite article of clothing. You know, if it's a worn out leather jacket, you're probably gonna like brown leather accents in your in your house. So first think about the things that make you happy and then start, start to infuse those into your room. And that's really the best place to start. Well, the infusing is where the problem starts because you may know what color you like, <laughs> you might know you like this couch and that rug, but then you put them together and it's a train wreck. Are there any tips on how to put it together? Well, I, again, it's it's about what makes you happy, you know, and of course there is rules that shouldn't be broken, like scale, you know, you, you shouldn't put things in a room that are too big for a room because then they can become quite frustrating when you're having to climb over them all the time. But again, it, it really is about what makes you happy and not what your friends, your family or the magazine say. Well, you do say lighting is important, right? No matter where yes. you go. So does that mean I should have like you know, little lamps and corners rather than the big overhead light as a general rule. Yeah, so in, in the book, there's a whole chapter yeah. about lighting and that goes from even like the, the warmth of lighting from warm lights to, to cool lights, which are more energizing. But the right type of lighting is very important because lighting can even affect your sleep. So overhead lights are really no one's friend. Yeah. Um, no one looks good under an <laughs> overhead light, but sometimes they are necessary when you're cleaning or, or when you're doing something that you really need to be awake. But for the other times of day, do the accent lights, do the small lamps with the shades that diffuse the light so they're not too bright. You know, our bodies naturally start getting ready for sleep by producing melatonin when the lights go down. So make sure that you have dimmers on your lights because if you have a hard time sleeping, it might be because you didn't precondition your body soon enough to start telling it, hey, it's time to go to sleep instead of just shutting off that overhead light and then thinking, oh, I can go to sleep right now. Mm -hmm. I wish you could come in the studio. I got this beaming light right on my forehead and I don't think it's doing me any favors. <laughs> well, but... I, I think the whole point of that is so you don't go to sleep. <laughs> Probably true, Bobby. Well, he's going to be at the Chicago Humanities Festival October 21st at Francis Parker School. You can get all the details at chicagohumanities.org and you can also find out more on Bobby's website and socials and the book is called Right at Home. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, guys. Have a good morning.